Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm doing a quick update at Duffield Road, which is the building we're buying, where we've got the ladies' salon and the gentleman's salon, which you now you can see they've moved in now. Uh, we've done a few bits and bobs in front of the shop to turn into a bubble tea cafe shop, so let's go inside. So we're inside the shop now, we've done a bit of works inside um, uh, into a designer who has carefully kind of picked the contracts to kind of do the works. We've had some advice from building control, we've had some advice from fire inspectors as well. So um, right here behind me here is all breeze block, so it's kind of acting as a fireproof barrier between this shop and the next shop next door. Because uh, we're doing it as a commercial, uh, we've got to soundproof and make sure everything's like fire blocked and everything. Um, we've also had some issues with uh, rot. Um, by the windows here, you can actually see um, some rot happening where basically it's single glazed and like um, there's water penetrating through the sign. So over time, that's all come, kind of come, gone all rotten and we're, we're going to have to replace it anyway. So the plan is to put like double glazing in. Uh, for the hefty quote, I mean, it's quite a large piece of glass, but as we want to retain the shop front, um, the whole idea was we wanted to have it as bright as possible with the windows and we'll have it have like sort of like a privacy film, but also with advertisement on the back. Um, so that's all, all to go through with our signage application and that will include the sign at the front as well. Uh, we're going to pl plan on go for like a simple kind of inside Scandi theme, but outside again, just plain white with like the uh, logo on the top where the corner of the building is. Um, down this side, um, we've got the stairs to the cellar. Again, we're just going to keep that as it is, uh, probably be used for like storage. Um, we've got some plans going on the screen now to give you an idea of the layout. As you can see on the screen, we've got um, the counter side as you walk through the shop. So uh, customers will come into the shop and they'll make their drinks all sorts. So if you think about like a Starbucks, um, they come in one side and they collect their drinks on the other. So when they collect the drinks, they're literally by the exit again. We've literally got like a circuit that goes round. As you come round from the corner of um, the shop, uh, this is basically just for kind of like uh, counter top space. So with like the cafe, you've got like uh, making like ice machines, um, storage for like the cups and stuff like that. So um, relatively low intensity on that machinery because most of it's going to be out on the front where you've got your own sink and freezers and fridge space, um, like the cool chilled area where you put all like the, the toppings and all that stuff. And then when we come round into the back here, it's sort of like a breakout area. Okay, got my torch out because it's a bit dark in here. So um, inside here, it used to be just like the toilet and the sink, mainly for like when it used to be like a bathroom shot that came in here and probably just did their business and um, had like a little tea area as well. So we're kind of adopting the same idea. We just want like a, a nicer toilet where it's all incorporated in one. Uh, we've actually got this old door and window, which is actually one whole frame. So we've got a quote in to sort of break that into two. A brand new UPVC door with the window, kind of obscured glass, so you're not kind of glaring to the toilet. Um, but um, it's kind of nice um, to have this breakout space for staff when they obviously need to have their lunch and stuff. And then when you go through into the back here, um, oh, another issue we had was damp as well. So we've got a damp proofing contractor to come and uh, put the membrane on and um, inject it with like the DPC. Um, and we built the floor up here. so. At the back is the car park, so um, the, the floor level is at least probably about three steps down, so uh, we needed to kind of build the floor up for it to kind of come to level with the car park. We still probably have to have to do like another one or two steps coming from the car park, but this will just be a uh, UPVC door with some windows, so let a lot of natural light coming through and, and a nice kind of office space. So the plan was to kind of put like a, kind of like your boardroom kind of table style and then like when you kind of sit down you can like plug your plug and play all your laptops and stuff from the middle central central console and um, just some nice lighting in here just to keep it nice and bright uh, originally we we're thinking of using it for our staff so they can come and chill and come here with like some work to do get a drink from the front and maybe open to the public as well to um, kind of come in and we've not right next to the university as well so it'd be nice to kind of get people in on like a membership basis maybe get a free drink every day every time they come but they pay like a membership fee so there's we're open to like different ideas but 
Um, the vision for this place was kind of purchasing the whole block, splitting the titles, which are the flats and the shops next door. Um, so there's a lot of legal work behind that where uh, land registry takes like nearly like nine to 12 months just to get a registration in place. So um, uh, we're having to work closer to broker and solicitors, making sure that we're doing things in the right place. We've got a bridge to purchase first and then as soon as the title is registered and we separate the leaseholds, then we can refinance the residential onto their own separate mortgages. So on their bricks and mortar value, um, it's actually worth more than what we're paying for it. So that's our way of trying to get as much money out as possible and um, just just kind of something different because um, with like bill prices going up, um, I, f I see the margins for like six bed HMOs aren't as good as they used to be, probably because the price of property has gone up as well. So where this has gone up, construction has gone up, the money left in has gone up as well. So I think a good way to look at it is um, try and do things with what they call a flick of a pen. So whilst the solicitor's kind of breaking the titles into leases and then you can refinance them individually, that's where we can pull the funds out to pay for the works and uh, this will be a great cash flowing business. Uh, the plan going forward is uh, me and the wife Joey and also some flat members will help run it and uh, later on employ like some students and like just other people that are keen to kind of work at a vision of just having a cool social breakout space. So for now that's what we've got, we've got some plans that we're showing on screen, flick back and have a look and I'm excited to show you like developments of this project because it's something different and uh, yeah, see you soon.